All right, we're in Sacramento. We're gonna go check out Scorpio Coffee. Made it like a two, two, two and a half hour drive up here. It's just like two hours. Yeah, casual two hours, but it was a beautiful day out. It's like 80 something degrees, downtown, downtown Sac. Um, haven't been up here in a while, but wanted to check out Scorpio because they used to be one of the only shops that served, say, in like Northern California. My, my very elitist friends really like this place. Your elitist friends in Sacramento. So anyway, we're, we're gonna go and check out the shop. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully the coffee's gonna be good. Beautiful day. <clears throat> and uh... I kinda like the vibes yeah. in Midtown. Never, I've never been here. I haven't been here in, in years. I'm gonna do some work. Yeah, <laughs> Harry's gonna leave me. <laughs> All right, here it is. The good coffee's here. They have a lot of cool stuff. We'll be with you guys just a second. Okay, okay sweet. I'm excited too, okay? Enjoy, guys. Thank you. See, is this the Cruz Lama? Exactly. Oh, okay. So that's the one from Ecuador. That's the, I think, the Washington, okay? Sick. Thank you. Enjoy. Just like uh, just a uh, cruise lumber shot. Let's just, go. Just casually, casual. Twenty dollars shot over there. Hey, hey. Probably just dumping it in there. Or, or maybe they, 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 they know who I am. Who knows? I, I, don't, I'm nobody, dude. Oh, they would have said hi. Anyways. All right. Um, Casually gave us a cruise Loma shot. Love, love that. I love COE number three. COE, COE, I have so much of this coffee. It is bad. Bad. All right, what do you want to do first? So this is the Donche. This is cruise Loma. This is the Mike Mamo. I think that would, this uh, honey process. Loma. Honey process, yeah. This is a anaerobic washed coffee, Sidra, if I remember. Okay. Sidra, uh, this was one of my favorite coffees. Yeah. All right, try that one first. The toast, very cool. We have to always get toast wherever we go. Like, look at, look at that. That's a thick toast. Yeah, this is good. This is good? So I, I had, I like destroyed my bag of Dante. Like, when I got it in, I rested it for like two weeks and I just uh, downed it. Dante. Super floral, very clean, very sweet. Um, how, did they, how did they dial it in here? It's probably like super dialed in for just like approachability here. Uh, yes. um, I also think like the Dante I had before was very sweetness focused. So this is pretty good. Should we try some COE? I had so much of this coffee, it's like bad. I'll try, I'll try a little bit of this. Definitely has that like, soup, I don't want to say like soupiness that you can get, like the smell that you get from certain Sidras. That's really good. My impression of the Cruz Loma is, Cruz Loma is, reminds me a lot of like Lenny Bermudez, but incredibly clean. Like just just super clean. Um, you don't get any of the syntheticness that you get in Lenny, um, but you get a lot of those tropical fruits, a lot of the, the peachiness will, will come out. The, the cleanest version of like a peach, tropical fruit coffee that I've ever had. That's like what that Cruz Loma COE number three coffee from Sale is. I know a lot of you guys got it, but I love this coffee so much. Yeah, super fantastic. Like it's it's dialed in. Like for me, I always like to push a little bit more acidity, but this is a quite a balanced shot, and um, the, it's really well dialed in here. Like these guys are definitely doing a, a great job. This year, honey process. You can't. It's 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 gonna be clean because that's like what stays into. But that's also really well done. All the shots here, at least these two shots. Really well balance of acidity and sweetness, and there's no astringency in any nor bitters at all that I'm tasting. They're both long as well as you can see. They're like quite long shots. These guys are dialing in really great coffee. Like, I mean, obviously these are fantastic coffees. So it's like harder to mess up when you have like a COE coffee on the table, but like this is really good. I'm like, I'm very impressed with the shop so far. <laughs> it's quite interesting to see how shops approach say coffee. 
these. Um, I will say that Say pushes the extraction the most out of most shops that I've seen, whereas I would say like a suited in New York City is pushing more like vibrancy and acidity and sweetness, whereas here I would say it's more like balanced. And I'm pretty sure people have like already been to all these shops. This is the first time that I've actually tried the Cruz Loma in a shop, and I'll say that like this is such a such a potent coffee. Having this on espresso is quite nice, uh, especially within I would say like this environment where they are dialing in probably for more approachability. Uh, you are still able to get like this coffee represented in a way that I think is stellar. So and it's like oh yeah, uh, this is what say can do. Yeah, even in their in their yeah. way of dialing. Like, when you get to this point of like how of, of, like coffees of this caliber, the co it's it's so flexible. Where it's like you can extract high, you can extract low, you can push sweetness, you can push by uh, acidity, you can push whatever you want, and the coffee is flexible in in those different directions. And normal customers can get this stuff. It's kind of crazy. I also like you know really enjoy the fact that they gave us a shot of this. So yeah, and they were like very enthusiastic about say. Yeah, yeah, they, they were, were like, like, "I'll say it's the best." And I was like, "Yeah, I, I agree. I tend to agree with that statement." Um, but yeah, all right, Harry, you want to try stuff? So this is the honey process. Honey thing. process. That's say there you get that that vibrance, mm -hmm. that really good multi-layered acidity. Yeah, structured acidity, but it's still pretty clean. And it's very clean. even though it's a honey process. Cruz Loma, my friend. Cruz Loma is so good. Oh, this one actually is so well dialed in, actually. Yeah, super balanced, super sweet. The acidity, like, acidity and sweetness are, like, both. I actually wouldn't guess that this came from a Mazer. Like, not to shit on it. Well, I don't know what or they, like, ground, or like I don't know what they ground it on. Yeah, I don't know what they ground this on. Maybe the second one. But the, this, this... Honey process was on like the Mazer, and then this was probably on like the E80 or the PK. I don't know. Yeah. Just, oh, but they're really. Okay, I don't know what they have. I but it's seen, really like, good. Like it's pretty packed in here. I can't see. There's like low bitter finish. Mm -hmm. And then this is the. I think this this batch is pretty well dialed in as well. Yeah, like usually I get batch and it, they kind of taste flat. So mm -hmm. this this is like what I kind of dial in for when I'm at home. All right, we're gonna try some toast. Uh, I don't know how to do this. This is a strawberry toast. I guess I'll cut a corner here. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. Wait, wait. Let me just like bite into it. Is that okay? Hold on. I've I failed at. The, I'm just gonna bite into it. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Super crunchy, super sweet. Like, but it's not. It's like well integrated. I don't know. It's like the, the cream, cream is good. It's the like cream, melting with the cream. Yeah, melts the cream. The toast is thick. As crunchy as that shoku pan style is good. I'm gonna get more food here as well. Um, I'm gonna get lunch here. They have like noodles and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try it all. I drove two and a half hours to get here. Right, got the same same coffee. Um, flash brewed. Flash brewed. I think this is the Dante. Basically floral iced coffee. The there's acidity in it. Super sweet. Very tasty. Um, I always think like with these say coffees, they're always great to brew them hot and then you cool them down. If you flash chill them, flash brew them, they always turn out pretty decent. So that's what happened here. Very tasty. But we got some more stuff that we ordered, so we'll see uh, when all that comes out. Uh, now having lunch here, so <laughs> have uh, got salad, eating food. I don't know if this is interesting, but. Yeah, they have food here, and so far it's all really good. Also have soba noodles, so they just brought this out. Got my lunch. Yeah, wow, look at that. That's very cool. Thank you, Scorpio. Yo, the food here is also really good. Nice. All right, well that was Scorpio coffee over there. That was an amazing experience. Um, great coffee, great conversations. I, I had a really lovely conversation with Sam, the owner, told me a bunch about uh, how he started the shop. I'll definitely come back here at a later date for like a more 
formal video and you know we'll sit down we'll get Sam out on camera and all that good stuff but man that was a, such a great experience um, the say coffees are so well dialed in and also the food was also quite amazing I was very surprised by the food um, and it's just like super rare to see a shop uh, that's doing great food great coffee in a single building the vibes are amazing as well so definitely would recommend you guys uh, come out to uh, Scorpio if you're ever in SAC now we're gonna go pick up Harry and we're gonna go and go home but yeah that was awesome thank you Scorpio for having us um, you know walked in on a beautiful beautiful Saturday in Sacramento and uh, had a, some fantastic coffee some fantastic food so yeah thank you guys for watching see you guys around